Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day in the market. February 2nd, 2022, we've got 222022. Only time this will happen in my lifetime. Um, I just figured it'd be a good time to start a video when Jimmy is just getting short attacked. Making a new low right now, it's crazy. We're gonna talk about that. I made some big plays today. Uh, some somewhat risky. Google plays, spy plays, run plays. Sub up, like up, comment down. Happy money sticks around. You can follow us on Twitter if you like. I've been doing Twitter spaces sometimes. Um, just chatting and talking to you guys and whatever. So, follow us on there. And then we have a Discord server too if you want to jump on here. Uh, we we're talking about uh, GameStop's low. 98 is on the table. Yeah, I, I think we still could come down. It's, it's happening... It's all happening according to the chart still. <clears throat> um, the cycles here. By coming back up to this 61.8% uh, Fib retracement level, it looks like. Um, not sure if it'll keep rallying from here though. Probably consolidate first because uh, hourly is pretty hot. We did have spy calls this morning. I actually got out of them this morning. Uh, just wasn't sure, just seemed pretty uncertain. I don't even know if they would have actually been more valuable from all this theta decay, even though they were spreads. Maybe, but maybe not. Um, I'll probably jump back in some long stuff on SPY once this cools down. Um, maybe if Facebook earnings are bad today, that'll bring SPY down to settle down. I think this bounce is still going. No, we've got green MACD, you got green over the nine, and uh, I think we'll probably retrace to those 467. It looks like we'll see though if earnings are really bad uh it might this might be the this this could be the final the top of the bounce but uh, i'm not convinced yet i'm thinking it probably will make it another 10 points i'd say or ten dollars rather <clears throat> um yeah we'll go over those plays gamestop they did a i mean it was pretty boring today, but really it's actually down almost 10% now. Had just a big range, shorted straight out of the gate. Borrow fee is up, it's down. They had like a 1.1 million shares at open on iBorrow. And that thing's just been fluctuating around. But it's actually really good that they have a bunch of shares available that are showing up here. So they had 1.1, 2.3 borrow fee. Yesterday they were running out of shares and all of a sudden Ton of shares. This is exactly what we started seeing uh, back when GME really went crazy. Uh, we saw the borrow fee, of course, go up and just move around, and then also the available shares just be sporadic. Um, and you're starting to see it here on the chart. So this this line right here is the available shares. We haven't seen this amount of shares available oh, since here, since back in March 3rd. So you see back here, think oh you don't want shares available uh no actually when they have a lot of shares available that's when it like squeezed it's kind of crazy or when it pinched rather um so there's the close price and then the fee of course going up is good this is the highest the fee's been since like april so it came down a little bit but it's it's trending up and maybe they're using those short or those shares available that we're seeing them to dump it here on these overlapping FTD days that were supposed to be so sick. Not happening. Um, it's way oversold. I do see it bouncing probably back up to 106 before close. We've got about 45 minutes to close. Um, max pain this week is I think 106. So we were hanging out there today for a bit. But the chart, I mean, the chart's looking, it's lining up like what we were predicting. Kind of this range right here. That's still what I'm thinking. I'm um, not sure if we'll get bearish MACD for a few days like we did back here or if it'll just stay bullish how it was here. See here we came up, came back down to retest, but the MACD stayed bullish the whole time. I think our pattern just from this high right here, which was the high before earnings, same with like right here. I think our pattern from there to where we are now is the most similar to this one because this is a longer time frame. And this had that kind of false breakout. And then 
make lower lows. The other ones had it a little bit. This one, I guess, was kind of right here. But um, yeah, I think we're the most similar to this one. So that would mean, um, we'll see. So this one had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It was on the 11th green MACD day that it rallied. Kind of a silly way to do it, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That'd put it February 14th when I have a big day. Um we all I mean it also could turn back bearish and then go bullish like it did here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's actually pretty close. What do we say? 14? So even with a bearish MACD for a few days. From when we turned bullish on the MACD, it was 14 days. So there you go, that's kind of my predictions. Um, and it'll probably start going up at least a couple days before that big day. Like here it went up two days, here it went up two days. And before then, um, probably a little rally, which we maybe already even done our rally and now we're starting to come down to retest. Maybe it's accelerating. Um, we'll see. And that, that retest, I don't know where it'll be. 93, 95, 100. Um, seems like it'll be a little lower than 100 just since they almost got it to 100 today. So maybe 90, 95. And maybe we'll do all this this week and bump it back up to 106 for Max Payne. Oh, Spy just broke out of that bib level. Huh. Spy does love to just live in overbought territory like it's its job. Anyways, um, GameStop's on its way. It's looking good. I was able to get margin on Fidelity. I shorted some puts on GameStop. So stoked. Let me show you guys uh, options we did today. Different plays. Got Google options. Google announced 20 for one stock split, which is super bullish. I can't remember last time they stock split if they ever have. Um, show you guys a quick little chart comparison here. Tesla did a stock split of five for one in August 2020. Sent the stock rallying. And it, it typically does, I would say. So here's where they announced the stock split. 811, so in two weeks, went from 285 to 500. It's like an 80% increase. Hoping the same thing happens with Amazon. Might not. The market conditions during this time were bullish. Um, we'll see what the SPY does these next two weeks. Uh, it, could, it could be bullish. We could have a higher bounce. Um, so Amazon typically doesn't move as much as Tesla does. So that might be a factor. But if you're looking at 80% on Amazon, that'd be five grand. So I'm not expecting it to go up that high. That's actually insane. I do have a bullish play I set up though. And it, it's risky. Max profit on it's for four grand price target, which still seems insane. But I don't know, we'll see. I have like till the end of the month on it. Um, yeah, they were, they were kind of expensive, so I had to basically just have a more risky play to be able to afford it. And it's actually crazy, because I was looking at getting into this thing most of the day, and I was just watching it come down, come down, come down. I was hoping it'd fill this whole gap. It didn't, and the option I wanted to get, I had an order for a while at like 700, 750 or something around here. And it didn't fill, and it started coming up, and I just left it and didn't chase. And by the time it hit here, that, that thing was at 1700 Just in this swing right here, I could have over doubled it. <laughs> and that was a spread, too. So we'll see how that's going. Um, That's my Google Play. I also have a bearish F, FB Play Facebook for earnings. Hoping they tank, and maybe that'll settle the market down. Hopefully it doesn't pull Google down too much. Google is pretty much supporting, I think, all of the NASDAQ right now. It's a behemoth. Um, yeah, I don't know if Spy will hang out up there. Leave Jamie up here. Get our little bounce. Maybe it won't make it all the way back to the VWAP by close. We'll see. Here is our history today. I, so I closed out of that call debit spread on Spy. It was a small gain. I maybe could have closed it earlier. When Spy just has such a slow melt up, it's hard to, I guess, just hang on to it when it's, I don't know. I just was like, when it gets close to like being less profitable and has, I don't know, I just closed it, whatever. It's maybe, it maybe, maybe got a better price then than if I held it longer, who knows. B by G, I also closed for a small gain. Looks like the run on that thing is over for now. And this thing closed or expires on Friday. Here's my Facebook short. It's a 295, 310 put debit spread. 
So market makers are predicting a 6.4% move in Facebook from earnings. So if you think they have mispriced the, the options market, you can play the options. Oh, they've moved it up. Okay, so the IV is going up. It's gone up since I opened it up. It was 6.4, now it's seven and a quarter. Um, so basically, if you think they've mispriced this, then this is a good time to get options, whether it's to the upside or downside. And I did a price target outside of their expected move, which was 6.4. Now it looks like it's seven and a quarter. If that makes sense. Because I think, I mean, depending on if you're doing a more complex spread or something, um, if you just, if you buy an option and it stays in its range, it's probably just gonna lose value. Even if you were right on the right on the direction, even if you buy a put and it goes down, it's not necessarily going to go up in value. Um, as you can see here, current IV is 63%. Market implied post earnings IV is 33. So right there, you're seeing it. You're going to get 33. Or sorry, 50% of the IV sucked out of it to, by tomorrow. No matter what. So if it goes in your direction, uh, great. It has to go far enough in your direction because they're implying this much move already, seven and a quarter. Anyways. Um, so yeah, that actually went up. I wonder if that position has gotten more valuable. No, position's gone down. The, the stock kind of rallied a little bit after I opened it. Um, what is this? About to open. Oh, I opened actually bearish play on, on GME. I should maybe close it right now. I mean, it's low. Uh, it's a 102.89 put debit spread on GME. Up till next Friday. It's a price target to stay above 89. I feel like, I feel like we'll probably stay above 89. I don't know if we'll keep. I just saw red, red under the nine, big red under the nine, bearish MACD. I'm like, I'm just gonna grab this momentum. It might bring it down around here somewhere. So I'll hold this till tomorrow. But wow, GameStop is actually down almost 10% today. Actually, pretty big day to the downside. Given we did just have a 10% day this day. The upside and then a four percent day that day so giving back some of the gains not all of them um let's see should i close it we get a bounce i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna close it get a bounce into close and then i'll reopen it okay cool yeah i'll, I'll reopen it hopefully it comes back up to view up um yeah, history. Sorry, let's see. Back to that. Okay. There's that. Uh, so Run had news today. They are partnering with Ford. It's a solar panel company. Ford basically is going to put their solar panels, I think run solar panels on their roofs. Um, Donro had a good DD. He wrote up on our Discord about it. And they've been susceptible to run in the past just with infrastructure bills and money being pumped into solar and green energy and all that. This company is actually profitable, I believe. Their, their earnings were good. I looked at their, their numbers and it's it's increasing each quarter. And it's at a really good price. So I actually grabbed it. Uh, Don, actually, we both did this play. Um, I grabbed it for the long term. I'm trying to be very careful on what I pick up for the long term right now or anything I go long on because I think the market's still due for a big crash. That being said, I think the crash started last year. Uh, it just depends on what you were looking at. It didn't start it last year for the mega caps or the um, S&P or NASDAQ or Dow because those are held up by the mega caps. It started and there was a DD I actually put in chat or uh, in happy DD. Yeah, the crash started in February 2021, which is really interesting. Um, I knew about it starting in November of last year, just seeing all this, the stocks that it came out then. Uh, I didn't know about this. So small caps, penny stocks, micro caps, I'd say. They all started crashing February of uh 2021 i can show you the chart but it's kind of interesting and that's usually the first to go in a crash or a correction it starts with the money pulling out of the super speculative risky penny stocks micro caps and then slowly works its way up the ladder small caps mid caps high caps and then mega caps um so we saw it once it started hitting gme this is when a lot of the more speculative mid caps small caps started getting hit and so market crash I would say, yeah, started back in February of last year and then and and it's still going on. And we saw the, the fruits of it November of last year, just when it rotated into uh, these mid caps. So there's like 50 charts that look like this, pretty much just the same. 
where they've lost like 50 to 75% of their value since November. But you look at SPY or NASDAQ or Dow or whatever, they've just looked like they've gotten a little choppy and a little volatile. I mean, yeah, it's come down some, but it's not, it's not been crazy yet. They haven't done this move at all. Just a little bit. So mega caps are next. That's the Tesla's, the Apple, um, the Amazon. That's why these little bounce plays are a little bit sketchy. Um, and I think, yeah, I think after Jimmy or uh, spy rallies and it finally founds a resistance and, and kind of consolidates, I think the move down, the next leg down will probably be a big one. And that will be with the mega caps and large caps. I'm thinking this like 360 support um, down here. I think that'll be our next leg down and that might take two, three months. Um, Spy's a huge, the market's huge. Big stuff takes a long time to move. Powell's talking in March uh, about rates and that could be the catalyst, but we will see. Anyways, um, wow, look at that. Look at that GME just getting plummeted into the ground and Spy is not doing anything. This is a clearly a coordinated effort right here on GameStop. They're getting ready. They're getting ready for a rally. Nice little GME rallies coming, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of the market outlook I see. Birds, I bought back my short calls, sold them for 10 bucks, bought them back for five bucks, 16 days left on them, makes sense. If Birds has a nice 10% day, I could maybe sell them again for 10. Uh, I'm still down like 60% on that thing or like 35 grand, whatever. It'll come back, it's a good, I think it's a good play. Uh, here's my Google play, 40, 50, 32, 50, call debit spread on Google, it's kind of big. We'll see, this, this is uh, the similar strikes that actually had a 100% swing today. If it does potential, if it does actually go up to 4,000, it's a huge amount. I mean, it's 80, 80 grand on that one. I don't, I mean, the probability is one point, one and a quarter percent probability, which doesn't mean a whole lot, but yeah, it's most likely not gonna do that. But even if we get up into the, you know, 3,300, that'd be nice. Because 3,300 soon will be pretty good profits. Um, percentages, it's all about percentages and with a bigger option play, 10, 20% is going to be more, right? So you get 20% on this play, that's a lot more money than 20% on an option that costs $100. So that one hopefully works out. There's that one we just closed. Wow, this is a whole move right here on GameStop. Hmm. I mean, if you look at it on the longer time frame, it just, it looks like it's grinding up and consolidating, which is kind of what we were expecting. I guess some of these days were big. This was a pretty big day. Hmm. So this line is February 7th. This is historically the first time uh, in the past run-ups. This would be the earliest that it would start going up. And not like big, big going up, but just like, like basically here. This, it's the bottom. So the beginning of the rally. It was right here, I think. Uh, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on Discord. Peace out.